dive right into it. So, Alan, welcome. It's the first you. time we've ever met. Yeah. But um, I recently learned something about you because uh, a good friend of mine, just kidding, he doesn't know me, um, Niall Horan, yeah. had said that <laughs> he tweeted about being mistaken for someone from your show. Yeah. And it was you. It might have so been. So do you ever get mis... Is that a common mistake? I mean, my, my Twitter feed is mainly people going, hey, mom and dad were watching Downton Abbey. I think Niall Horan's in it. <laughs> Uh, oh, no, and then it's Alan Leach. Uh, so I'm actually glad for once Niall got it the other way around. I want to pull this up because when I saw this, I was actually shocked at the resemblance. I mean, you look almost identical in this picture. I'm not going to lie. I, I've had words with my dad. I have. I've said, um, you know, did you work anywhere near where he's from, Mullingar, at any point 26 years ago? <laughs> 27. That's allowed for gestation. Are, are you, have you ever met in person? Uh, yeah, I have, yeah. We actually took a photo together. I don't know where it's gone, but of, of our side profiles. I do want a DNA test, though. <laughs> fair. I think so. I think it is fair. Elizabeth, you've lived in London for about 30 years, correct? Mm. Ish? Ish. Less. Ish? Less. less. Okay, less. But you're originally from L.A.? I, I was born in Chicago, and I grew up in L.A. Grew up in L.A.? Yeah. So how was that transition moving to London? Well, for the first decade, I felt a bit like I'd taken some kind of drug and woken up in a Charles Dickens novel. <laughs> and everybody was a character, and they spoke my language, but I didn't understand them. It was sort of... Is it true about the valet parking thing? Do you remember in, free in Freezing? We know each other very well. <laughs> we go back very far. We've been married three times on camera, okay. and one of them was a show called Freezing, which was about Elizabeth McGovern moving to England. You know, Oscar-nominated actress moves strange, to Britain. But... And at uh, the end of episode one, it was based, you know, loosely on her life. And the end of episode one was me, her meeting me, her husband, in a restaurant. Uh, and uh, I said, you know, what have you done with the car? And she said, I left it with the valet parking guy. I gave the keys to the valet parking guy. And I said, we don't have valet parking in Britain. <laughs> now, true story. Your husband told me that that actually happened. It is a true story. Brilliant. I said, I left the keys with valet parking. And the guy said, in the restaurant, said, we have no valet parking. <laughs> So was your car gone? <laughs> we, you well, we make a, made a very quick dash outside. <laughs> Alan, you are actually the opposite. You moved from London to L.A., is that yeah. correct? Yeah. Was that a culture shock for you? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting when in L.A. people say, well, let's go for a couple of drinks. Mm -hmm. They mean, like, just a couple of drinks. It's one or two, and then they're like, hey, man, okay, great, see you, bye. <laughs> uh, oh. was, that, was that an American accent? No, 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 I don't know what that was, really. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, and then I had an Irish friend over uh, who's a musician called uh, Hosier, you might know. <laughs> and there's a pub. I, I don't want to get in trouble for leaving us in the bar and locking us in, as it's called a lock-in, you know? Yeah. So everyone else left. We were sitting at the bar, you know, talking away, and I had rung my wife, my fiancé at the time, and said, listen, I, uh, I'm gonna, just going to go for a couple of pints and I'll be home. So then at 4 a.m., she rang me, <laughs> and she went, where the hell are you? And I said, I'm still in the pub. I'm still here. We're just talking. Me and it's like, what, you're just, you and Hosey are just talking. I was like, yeah. And she said, what the f*** have you left to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> so then I went home. <laughs> <laughs> I want to learn the lingo, to be honest. I feel a little left out. So, I mean, there's so many different kinds of British accents. What's something that I could say, like, say to sound very posh? What about, well, Penelope Wilton, who okay. is in the show, she plays Isabel Crawley. She's mm -hmm. now just become a dame. Mm -hmm. And she met the Queen. Mm -hmm. When she came to set, she said, it's, it's really quite fantastic, you know. The Queen actually doesn't say yes. She says ears. Yes, yes, yes. So, go on, go on. Okay, so say ears. Are you having a nice time? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you nailed it. What would I sound like if I was like, working in the kitchen? Oh. Uh, well, obviously, in our show, then you'd have to have a Yorkshire accent because Mrs. Patmore work, you know, is from Yorkshire, mm -hmm. our, our cook. Up north. Up north. So you'd sound a bit like that. And uh, you'd say, put that bowl down, girl, or you'll get a, a clip round the ear roll. Say what to the who now? <laughs> <laughs> put that bowl down, or you'll get a clip round the ear roll. Yeah. Put that bowl down, or you're gonna clip around the ear, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, was it yo? You said yo? Ear hole. Ear hole. Oh, ear hole. Ear hole. Ear hole. Drop the ear. Ear hole. Ear hole. Ear hole. Ear hole. Ear hole. Ear hole. So I have to congratulate you all on Downton Abbey coming out. Movie, I'm so excited for it, but Elizabeth, tell us, what, what can we expect? What is it about? The king and queen are coming to dinner. Okay. That is where we start. Okay. Sleepover. They're coming for a sleepover, aren't they? Uh, well, yes, they're yeah. going to stay. <laughs> so, obviously, that creates a lot of 
tension, mm -hmm. which leads to intrigue both downstairs and upstairs. Things go wrong, fights occur, uh, people fall in love, and um, it, it all ends well. That's, that's our story. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> But see, I did notice, you know, obviously I watched the trailer, and I, I did notice that there's no, there's no Indian characters in the, in the movie. Oh, and in so, the movie, no. Yeah, I, I thought I would correct that for all of you. Um, so I took the liberty to um, fix it and um, include myself, if you see here. <laughs> um, I, I'm making myself an honorary trolley here. What do you think? Could this work with the aesthetics? What do that, you think? Absolutely. That's pretty good. It looks like she's digging her nails into my back right now. <laughs> Is that why you got that expression? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, would you be down? Could you pitch? Could you pitch? Oh yeah, yeah. Don't, don't worry. Sequel. Don't worry. Would, would that not be great? Indians, come yeah. on. Come on. <laughs>